Are you ready for one of the biggest myths in the weight loss industry? Here it is. It's that the fat in our diets is what's making us fat. This is far from being true. Your body needs fat to burn fat. Your brain's fatty cells also need fat. Fats are a source of energy. They provide building blocks for membranes and a variety of hormones. They are also carriers for vitamins and mineral absorption. The thing is, not all fats are good, that's for sure. There are both good and bad fats. It's all about knowing the difference. As a general rule, good fats are monounsaturated fats, polyunsaturated fats, and saturated fats. Some good sources of monounsaturated fats include peanuts, almonds, and avocados, which are all great for you. Great sources of polyunsaturated fats are walnuts, salmon, trout, and sunflower seeds. For saturated fats, dairy and poultry are great. Bad fats are trans fats, which are closely linked to cancer. Make sure you read the labels of food and avoid anything that says hydrogenated. These bad fats lower your HDL, good cholesterol, and increase your LDL, bad cholesterol. They clog arteries, cause insulin resistance, and contribute to diabetes. Therefore, you need to add healthy oils to your diet, like sesame oil, sunflower oil, and virgin olive oil. You probably already know about the tremendous benefits of virgin olive oil. There's also flaxseed oil, which provides your body with omega-3 acids. Flaxseed oil helps lower cholesterol and blood triglycerides and prevents clots in the arteries. It protects against high blood pressure, inflammation, and it's great for water retention, which is an important part of any weight loss program. have come out of the era in which fat was demonized as the bad macronutrient. But that legacy is still very much with, with us. I still see that when people are telling, giving people nutritional advice, talking about weight control, I still see the emphasis on fatty foods and people talking about high fat foods and cutting down on fat consumption and low fat foods. Fat does not make you fat. No, this is a very important concept. Fat does not make you fat. What is driving the obesity epidemic in this country is the very high consumption of high glycemic load carbohydrate foods, which have been technically manipulated. We need fat in the diet, and you can have substantial amounts of fat in the diet. When you try to, get, when you try to lower fat, um, you know, when you get below 25% of calories, food rapidly gets uninteresting. You know, fat is the major conveyor of flavor to, the, to us because many of the flavor principles are fat-soluble. Uh, fat also gives a pleasurable mouth feel. If you try to get fat down in the range of 10% of calories, which Ornish and Pritikin diets have recommended, I don't think people are going to stay on that unless you have a chef living with you or you live at a spa or you're so frightened about the prospect of an invasive cardiac procedure that you're going to do that. But that is very difficult to eat food like that. And it's not necessary. You know, in the Ornish program where he has demonstrated reversal of heart disease, he, he has never studied the dietary component apart from the other components of the program, which include moderate exercise, meditation, group support. I think if you, uh, you know, if you gave the, a Mediterranean diet or the anti-inflammatory diet, which I'm going to tell you about in a moment, as part of that same program, you'd get even better results and better compliance. Um, on the island of Crete, you know, one of the stellar areas for med traditional Mediterranean diet, people eat 40% of calories as fat, and they have very low rates of cardiovascular disease and cancer. But the fat that they're eating is mostly olive oil, fat from fish, and fat from high-quality uh, whole-fat dairy products. Uh, the fact is we need fat, and the most important kinds of fats that we need are the essential fatty acids. And here is another area which there has been an explosion of research. You know, we must have omega-6s and omega-3 fatty acids every day, and we have to have them in the right ratio. Um, I strongly recommend using olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, as a main fat. The research in olive oil is terrific. Um, not only does olive oil have a very good fatty acid profile, it's got a unique fraction of protective, health protective antioxidants in it. Uh, polyphenols, which are related to the polyphenols found in green tea. Uh, it has been shown to have anti-inflammatory power equal to that of ibuprofen. I mean, that's remarkable.